guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl essence of shade i was asked to do this tag a while ago but i just like were introduced to you guys so i didn't know if i wanted to share that much but seeing that i told you about my kidneys my unemployment abuse i've said all this stuff eh. this is the tmi tag or the about me tag they all sound the same to me. I try to go through this dumb fast. So let's go. Number one is what are you wearing? So I have on a choker from a Windsor store. And then I have on, have on a Queen Bay t-shirt and some black jeans. Uh, ever been in love I am a hopeless romantic so I feel like every relationship that was serious to me that I was actually in love so yeah have you ever had a terrible breakup yes I had how tall are you well people like to play me and tell me that I'm short and I say that I'm 5'7 but people try to act like that is not my height so I'm going to say between 5'6 and 5'7. Uh, how much do you weigh? I weigh 100 pounds. Any tattoos? Um, I have, I want to say 7. I'll go through them real fast. I have an unk. I have in Arabic, knowledge, knowledge, love, and truth. I have a Superman S. Of a flower here, Gemini symbol behind my ear, the infinity. Uh, I have the infinity symbol on my my rib cage uh, on my side with the year that I was born, eighty four. Did I just tell y'all my age? Of the skull and crossbones with a bow on behind my ankle. Any piercings? I have two holes on each side. My nose pierce, of course. Um, OTP. I don't know what that means. My favorite show. My favorite show right now. I watch all reality shows, which is really bad. But there's this show called Unreal, where I think it's on Lifetime, and it talks about like it basically talks about the behind the scenes aspect or let you know what really goes on with those um bachelor bachelorette type party shows and i also love devious maids veronica mars i just watch all three seasons of veronica mars i love veronica mars pretty little lies is my jump off Brett bands i don't really listen to bands um Hmm. Is Linkin Park a band? Because if Linkin Park is a band, yeah, you would say they're a band. I like Linkin Park. Something you miss. Um, this is kind of sentimental, but when growing up, my family is full of women. And when growing up, we were all like really close. And then we got older and jealousy and attitudes and everything got into in the way. So we're not as close Um as we used to be when I was younger and I miss that because family means everything to me and the fact that we don't have that camaraderie like we used to makes it sad because when everybody else is gone friends job everything you only have your family so that that's kind of sad favorite song a diehard Jay-Z fan. I listen to him all day. Jay-Z, Lauryn Hill, and Michael Jackson are my peoples. Jay-Z, this is a random one, but just to find my thug. It goes 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5, 6, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. The party don't stop, Rockefeller. 
how old are you? Well, if you catch my earlier question, I kind of told you the year that I was born. So go back and get it and then comment below and tell me what you think my age is. Let's see. My zodiac sign, I'm a Gemini through and through. I am told that May Geminis are better than June Geminis. They say June Geminis are a little crazier and examples Kanye West. Yes, you guys are a little loony doony. But you're still my people. We love hard, we're very passionate, we're giving, but we don't play either. Very creative. Gemini's to me run the world. Like if you really sit down and look at all the musicians and all the actresses and all that, a lot of them are Gemini's. So you better get one in your life. I'm just saying. Quality you look for in a partner. Someone who works hard, very passionate for what they love in a positive way. Number one thing to me, I mean I have a whole list but the number one thing to me is um, if he respects his mom, the relationship he has with his mother. Like you could tell a guy's character with how he treats his mom. Favorite quote, say, believe, achieve. Um, this is a perfect example of saying what you want, believing what you want, and achieving, seeing it come to fruition. My example of this is my YouTube channel. When I first started it, like I told you guys, I only did it because of the bad situation that I was in, so I didn't take it that serious. And then when I really sat down and thought about it, I realized the potential that this YouTube thing could be for me and for me helping out others. And I envisioned it. I saw myself being bigger than what I originally thought it could be. I started to believe in it and I'm seeing the fruits of my labor come into play. Or don't just sit on your butt and expect it to happen. Work towards it and you will see the fruits of your labor. Uh, favorite actor? actor? <laughs> Idris Alba, baby. Idris Alba. <laughs> favorite color my favorite color was blue but now it's now black loud music or soft i think it all depends on how you're feeling where do you go when you're sad well i'm kind of a loner i i stay home majority of the time so that's kind of where i do retreat so maybe i should find something else but my room sees my ups and my down how long does it, it take you to shower uh, I want to say like 45 minutes. They need to invent like a waterproof pencil and paper. You could just write in your, your things in the shower. Because a lot of stuff, like if you sit in a shower, you think of a lot of good things. Am I the only person who thinks this way? How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Um, It depends. Like I really, if I do makeup. 30 minutes if I don't do makeup like 10-15 minutes have you ever been in a physical fight uh yes I have but that was my younger years I'm not too proud about it turn on a uh, turn on is a person who just does things because like and a man who can cook turn off is kind of homage to what i said before if they do something for you and they throw it back in your face if they call you out your name the reason i joined youtube i joined youtube because i was in an abusive relationship um i didn't want to go out i didn't want to hang out with anybody i lost a lot of friends and i used to watch a lot of youtube videos just for entertainment i didn't have cable um so I was like, oh, I could do this. So I started it off and I wasn't too serious about it. And then I got real serious about it. And here we are. My fears. Um, my fears in life is that I would die not doing what I want to do. Not being successful and working hard to accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish. My fears are basically dying alone that's just honest um not not finding a true existing love and having a child to to pass on my legacy to my fears are to die and disappointing my mom are my fears 
those are my fears. Last thing that made you cry. My grandmother, she got in like a stroke a couple years ago. So she hasn't really been the same. Like she's good, but she has to walk with her cane and whatnot. So anyways, long story short, I took, I walked her down the block, like three blocks away from the house to get her hair done. And then, um, it takes about six hours. So I went back to go pick her up and the lady said that she was gone 20 minutes ago. She left by herself. So this freaked me out because the the distance from between the house and where the hair place is is only one way and you would have to pass each other to see it. I didn't pass her, she wasn't home. When I finally walked back home, I called everybody out of the book like I can't find her, da da da. When I went back home, she was sitting there fine as a cucumber. I broke down because if anything happened to that lady it says last time you said you love someone uh, this morning I spoke to my mom and I told her I love her my madre <laughs> meaning behind your YouTube name well my name is essence of Shay and my first name is Shayna since me and I just wanted to showcase my life showcase the things that are me which is my hair fashion food music it doesn't matter top topics that needs to be discussed motivation just the essence the raw the rawness of me um last book you read uh girl boss i'm also reading or on audibles i'm also listening to a book called girl code really into uh Revising myself and making myself a better person spiritually mentally physically just more positive and these books are helping me get to that situation and I want to do a lot more motivational speeches I'm putting it out there in the world I want to go around the world talking about up women upliftment um, just being more positive going for what you want in a positive way uh, cutting the jealousy factor out just being a better us and I feel like my purpose in this world is to do so much and I know that I can I just needed to believe in myself and now that I do sky's the limit and these books going to a therapist talking to family praying a lot is really helping me get to that so I'm putting it out there in the world. I will be a motivational speaker. I will put my name out there in a positive light. I will be known for giving you the raw, uncut things that people are very uncomfortable to talk about, but it needs to be spoken about to help others out. And I'm your girl to do it. Last show you watched, last show I watched, was keeping up with the Kardashians. Last person you talked to, uh, I just spoke to my grandma. The relationship between you and the person you last text. Uh, the person I last text is my mom. Um, the relationship between us was strained for a while. I put a lot of blame on her. My mom is a rock star. Favorite food? Chicken. Fried, baked, sauteed, in a sushi roll don't matter place you want to visit i want to visit london to visit paris of course africa last place you were oklahoma where the wind jumps you another on plane with an air and sweet assurance sure sweet king 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 do you have a crush idris elba last time you kissed someone uh last time you were insulted about a week and a half ago, uh, I was told something really disturbing, but we gotta let these things go, right? Favorite flavor of sweet, French vanilla. What instruments do you play? I currently am learning to play the acoustic guitar. This is her. You guys ready? I'm about to get Lauren Hill on you real quick.
Y'all think I'm playing. I'm about to be triple quadruple threat. Y'all, y'all. Favorite piece of jewelry. Right now, I really don't have a favorite piece. Last sport you played. Is bowling a sport? Last song you sang. I'll sing you a little piece. Don't judge me. Someday I wish upon a star. And wake up where the clouds are far behind me And troubles melt like lemon drops Away upon the chimney top uh, Favorite chat up line? Snapchat a chat up line? If it is, that would be my favorite. Have you ever used it? Use every single day. Last time you hung out with anyone was Lock Appreciation Day. I'm a homebody, y'all. Pray for me. Who should answer these questions next? Patty Fatty. Um, I want to put out this out to Lot Crush. Um, I want to curly new growth to anyone who does this. Do it. It's good. It's good for people to know who you are if you're on a social platform. Um, it makes it more realistic. It makes you more friendly. If you guys like this video um leave comments below don't forget the same old script like comment and subscribe share my video and i'll see you guys next time bye